next month. Mm -hmm. Let me think there. Yo, where's my window set CD? Bring it for me in the man. Hey man, thank you. So, today, my friends, how are you doing? Today we're gonna install Windows 8. The latest uh, one that Microsoft is giving to the people. I just downloaded it. It will work until uh, January. And why am I gonna install this? Well, because yesterday the official release of uh, Windows 8 Pro uh, was here in the Netherlands and in our computer shop here in Bayern at first 8 computers uh, I had the honor to um, to film it and to even create a little video you can check my list so I was like you know um, I'm gonna create a Rasta Windows 8 computer after being the Rasmac you all know this very popular computer this computer gonna boot from CD and this is an old system my friends this is a uh, it's an a bit motherboard and it's the AS8 I don't know if you guys know it it has a 775 processor a single core with 3000 megahertz so that's also really nice Otherwise, the apple is gonna brand into the thing. It already left some glue. You don't have to. Oh, you can easily wipe it off. See that? Just find a little cloth. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna uh, install Windows 8 on this thing. And I hope I don't have to show you how to install Windows 8. It's really easy. What you must do? You go into the BIOS and then you set your BIOS to boot from CD-ROM. But most of the times it's already set to number one. But if it's not, you know, then uh, you must set it to number one. And um, then you just boot with a CD. It will say, uh, press any key to boot with a CD, you know. And then you just boot with a CD and let the thing run. And in the meanwhile, you can go and make yourself a cup of coffee. Because at the next step, we will have to uh, um, format and partition uh, the hard drives and that's also really easy uh, just uh, sit back and uh, you'll see how it goes and the next step you will have to say some things to the computer you will have to hit next uh, English language to install time currency Netherlands your country, wherever you live. You see that? You just take it easy. Um, where's Netherlands? Oh, probably I should say Dutch. Dutch. Uh, let me see. C C Dutch Netherlands. You see that? And then keyboard. Most of the time it's United States. And then you have to hit install. And now we will get to the hard drives. Zoom out just a little bit for you. And it will find the Mac OS X journal the hard drives. And it will say unknown partition because Windows does not know, know these partitions. That will also be the case if you are running Linux on your machine. Or whatever. Okay, after you uh, inserted your serial number, the one that uh, you get from Microsoft when you download this version but you cannot download it anymore right? I see I just saw that the download is closed you can only buy Windows 8 now eh? so this will like be uh, uh, a version that you cannot okay custom install we will select and now you will see the two drives that are here uh, under here you also see drive options advanced you just click that one and then you just hit uh, delete you select the drive and you hit delete like that you see that okay and now you have one drive from 40 gig and then you just hit next 
and that drive will be then formatted and uh, partitioned and then the install will start and until then we're gonna do some uh, yeah some workouts because uh, we are in the workout studio here you know we're gonna do some uh, push-ups and do some walking and then when we uh, are done you know then you know then we are a little bit stronger and then the thing will be in stop okay this is the first boot we will now not boot from the CD so we will not hit the button we don't hit nothing just let the thing boot itself It's just like uh, doing the first restart now. And I don't know if it also needs uh, two restarts. I think so, but it might not. With Windows 7, we would get one more, um, one more restart. It would now continue the rest of the installation, and soon we will also have to put in some credentials, some credentials. And if you log in with your MSN account, the thing will have your picture. If you're connected to the internet, by the way. If you're not, then of course it will not. But if you log in with your MSN account then you know it will be like uh, yeah getting all the pictures and all your updates etc straight from the internet from the server of Microsoft and it will integrate it into your system so you will be like hey how did the thing get my picture you know <clears throat> but that's just because you logged in with your uh, MSN account you can also choose not to do that And now it's uh, installing the devices, getting the devices ready. And why am I creating this Windows 8 computer? Well, I want to see how good Windows 8 uh, works for musicians. Eh? You know, how will it work with my cool edit? How will it work with my reason? How will it work with my, uh, what do you call it, uh, flight simulator? Can I play my GTA Vice City still? And my and, and my San Andreas? And GTA 4? Can I, can, I, can I still do all these things, you know? Of course, I popped in a real good video card. I popped in, uh, what is it, uh, 80 uh, video card, I bought it for the OS X uh, project, but I still didn't man manage to get the drivers right. But uh, I have a real nice uh, video card in this thing. You cannot see it so good now, but it's an 80 with 1 gigabyte of DDR RAM. So that is not some stupid uh, video card, you know? And why? Because I'm gonna connect this thing to my TV. We're also gonna make a multimedia center of this thing. So we're gonna get all the benefits of Windows. You know, all the all the nice little things we can do, we're gonna take advantage of that and we're gonna test that. You're still watching the installation, this is taking a little long, but that's why I'm also telling you some stuff that you might you know use in in future uh, operations but for now um, as you can see after the first restart it will uh, get the devices ready we're at 100% now this is a real time uh, on a system with uh, 1.8 gigabyte RAM I found some extra RAM and I just popped it in 
I stole it from another laying around uh, system that had uh, 780 uh, or 65 megabytes. Can't remember. One from 256, I think, and one from 512. And that on top of this one gigabyte RAM. So now, what will it do? Will it restart a second time? It should, eh? it should restart the second time. So we still have two uh, reboots in Windows 8. So that is still the same as Windows 7. Go for it. And I think we will now go to the final, uh, to the final part of the installation. Of course, we will not choose to start from DVD or whatever. And there we go booting up did you hear that? clack clack that was my hard drive I think the hard drive has some bad sectors I'm not sure I don't hope so it was running back though I never had the error so I think Windows 8 should run just fine on it it's just a small disk 30 gigabytes so I will not uh, install real big things on this thing I'm just going to install um, Flight Simulator X, the one I uh, bought for my Windows 7. I'm going to connect this thing to a widescreen TV, a 32 inch um, Samsung uh, HD, uh, HD TV. The sound will come out of the TV as well. I will just uh, connect the sound card to the input of the line in of the TV that's how I do it always you know then I have sound with my uh, remote control on my TV for the computer so then you know the sound of my computer is also remote controlled that's really cool also have a wireless keyboard for this thing USB and a wireless mouse from uh, our friends of uh, Genius yep yep bought the set for 12 euros 50 and there we are as you can see we are in the personal uh, per how do you say that where's my mouse the personalization part and here you can make it all colors you want of the rainbow make it yellow or green or dope or so how shall we make it and you see the color white is not in it, eh? we will make it just blue. I like blue. And this is living room. Example, living room PC. This is my living room PC. How did you know Microsoft? Oh, wrong keyboard. Living room PC. Oops. Living room PC. Just as you assume my friends from Microsoft uh, well I like to customize up here um, yeah that's okay uh, help protect your uh, save no I don't want no smart screen I really hate the smart screen I don't know why I don't like it it's deciding for me although you can also turn it off eh? You can say not to use the, the start screen up here. You can uh, leave all these things on, but I put them off because you know I just put them off. And uh, Windows error reporting use internet. Share no. Yes, I can share the apps, so Windows will know what kind of apps I'm using, so they can tell that to the people that I don't have to make a review of every app that I install and that works okay finalizing the settings There will be no internet for now on this uh, computer. Uh, 
and I downloaded this version uh, the day before yesterday. Yeah? I didn't even know that yesterday the Windows 8 professional would come into the stores. I don't know. And then, boom, it started up, and there you go. And uh, up here you have. Uh, you see, when you move the mouse, you don't have to do nothing anymore. And there is the home screen. And you can see that the sound is not installed. I will have to get a sound driver for this uh, machine. We are going to put a toolbar in here. A normal Windows Start. I have a special program for that. It's really cool. And up here we should be able to get into this. Oh. No. Not that. Go away. How do we go into start menu? Oh there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do one by one is uh, I'm gonna hit right mouse club uh, button and then I'm gonna hit uninstall. I'm just gonna um, uninstall all these things because I, I'm not gonna use them. Um, this one uninstall. No, this one I'm gonna leave. I will need it. But um, maps I will uninstall. Drive uninstall. Pictures uninstall. Videos uninstall. You're like, why are you uninstalling this? Because I'm gonna use this in a different way. This home screen. I really like this home screen. But I don't like these, these things. I don't do financiers. I'm just a poor guy, man. I don't travel a lot, so I don't have to see all this travel. It's gonna make me unhappy, man. Seeing all these people traveling, and I cannot travel because I'm poor. And the news I read just at Google, Google News. So, camera, we don't have no camera in this thing. Uninstall. We have no games. Uninstall like that and store I will not use that on pin so we just have these two things here as you can see now and um, now uh, I will uh, I will put a normal Windows 7 start but I'm gonna pimp up this thing but that we're gonna do in our other movie for now we're gonna uh, install the drivers because as you can see uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit personalize right mouse uh, click and then we're gonna hit uh, change desktop icons and for now we're gonna put all these little icons we're gonna make sure that they get on the desktop so we can also get easily under the engine to go to the properties and up here you can see it's Windows 8 we installed I cannot see the build number, uh, but it's uh, the Windows 8 release preview. And we're having a Pentium 4 CPU. Wait, let me zoom in for you before my battery goes all dead. I hope you can read it. It's a uh, Pentium, uh, Pentium 4 CPU. With 1.75 gigabyte RAM. I hope you can read that. So this is a no big deal computer, eh? this is a poor man computer, you know people throw computers like this, they throw it away man, they, they just throw it away, they don't want it anymore, they want quad core and, and six core and seven cores, but I, li I love this one core, I, I really love it because you can see it's running just fine and I'm going to install some programs on this and then I'll get back in my other video uh, with the result. Alrighty then, well friends, that's it, uh, Windows 8 is installed on my old RAS Mac, she died, uh, I'm sorry, but I have a new new girlfriend now, and that is Windows 8, so whatever, I'm just gonna uh, install the programs, first of all the drivers, we're gonna make sure that all the drivers work, I'm gonna make sure that uh, the thing runs good. Um, then connected to my HD widescreen TV 
and from there we're gonna install uh, the toolbar I'm gonna show you which one and up there in the other video uh, you will also get this software software it's freeware by the way uh, I will also uh, Give you the links where you can download it so you can also uh, create your own windows 8 because i think i really love windows 8 the way it should work i think because i saw it working on some old uh, computers of mine and went it's working pretty good you know um but i don't like the the um the metro thing i don't like it I don't like all the little things that they put in for us that we can like enjoy in advance. Never ask for it and, and I don't know why it's there. So maybe to just pimp up the thing. Yeah, it's cool for many people, you know, so respect for that Microsoft, you know, but I, I don't like that. I'm gonna put my own programs in this thing and I'm gonna bring back the start menu. I really need the start menu and I, I would advise Microsoft to create an add-on for the people so they can also um, you know have a little add-on start menu if they want to you know if they want to you know so third parties don't have to go and make a, a, a toolbar or how you call it a start menu for the Windows 8 because it's happening already Windows and um, yeah s some people are even making money out of it now you know that while it's just a simple start menu you know it's just a little register hack and then the thing will be there so Microsoft take care of that you did a great job guys there I'm really happy to see that Windows 8 is out and that our concepts that we created still has something from it what we had and what I also like uh, Windows is that you guys took the panorama screen because that was also an ID that I created in my Windows 9 concept before Windows 8 ever came on the market. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little bit how to uh, install Windows 8 on a computer. But this could be also on a laptop or if you have a tablet without a CD-ROM player. Then you have to create uh, a bootable USB Windows 8. And how to do that? Just go to Microsoft and look for the tool up there. Just type uh, create bootable Windows 8 DV, uh, USB disk. Just type that and then you will find uh, a site leading straight to Microsoft. There are also some other uh, software, but I would go for the one from Microsoft. You know, and then create your bootable USB and enjoy Windows 8. Okay, till my. Uh, Till the sequel of this video. Bye.